What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Planet Zoo. Once again, if you guys are enjoying the Africa Pack mini-series, make sure you leave a like on the video. It'd be greatly appreciated. In the last episode, we were kind of tinkering around with the new African elephant exhibit that we have here. And unfortunately, we could not get our dome here to actually act as a hard shelter for these animals. And that is mainly because they can't actually enter the stupid thing. So, my one and only objective for today is trying to get this thing to actually work, to actually function as a hard shelter and uh, and give these animals what they're looking for. So you can kind of tell here, we have a very small opening into this habitat, or into the dome, I should say. And uh, if you come over here and look at the elephant, it's about the same size as the opening. Thankfully, you guys informed me. Oh, another meerkat. RIP to the homie, big time. But thankfully, you guys informed me that if we just click on the animal and then hit H, it'll actually open up the heat map. And you can see here, this is sort of their, I'm going to call this navigable land area. So anything in blue is, of course, an area that they can travel to and, and walk around in and and things like that. And then over here, inside of our dome, you'll notice there's not a single speck of blue. So that means the animal can't actually walk in here. So what I'm gonna try to do first is edit this side, and I'm going to delete that wall, and then that fence, and then it looks like there's actually some stuff underneath that too, so I'm gonna make sure we get rid of that also. Then if we click on the animal now, come on, come on, what you doing? Why you no work? There we go, and then H. Okay, that didn't do anything. <laughs> oh, great. All right, let's try one more wall then. I'm going to break down this one. It's probably not tall enough for the animal either, so we may actually have to do that also. Just sort of delete maybe the, the top side here, but let's check it now that we have a much larger opening. Still nothing, still nothing. All right, not even little Nima. Can fit in there. Are you uh, knocking down the glass again? All right, let's try this on for size. We're gonna delete the glass and every single one of these little dudes. There's quite a few of them. There, we now have an enormous opening into this dome structure. So hopefully they can uh, they can actually traverse into that enclosure now. He seems pretty amped. He seems pretty amped up, old Brutus. Let's see, let's click H. Oh my god, finally! They can't use a lot of the space, but it looks like they can at least, you know, enter in and out. And now, here's the big test. Does that count? It does. Oh, thank heavens. It counts as hard shelter, dude. We finally did it. After all this hard work, it finally paid off. So I don't know if we would have left that as a single opening. Like, maybe just, just one of those, the bottom and the top level. Removing those, if, if that would help, I'm not really sure. But I, I kind of like it open like this. It, it looks good. doesn't look that tacky. I was kind of worried it was going to really ruin the whole look of this thing. What about from the inside? Let's change our camera mode. You can see our guests standing up here on the ledge looking out at these animals. Yeah, that works, dude. That actually looks really nice, too. This looks like a professional, professional zoo now. Gotta love that. Guests are... <laughs> the guests are just piling in. Because it looks like Nima is actually making her way to the bedding over there to hopefully take a rest. I know, girl. You had a long day. Totally understandable. Look at that. <laughs> My brother just texts me and... You guys know you guys know Slug Doug. Good old Dougly. Uh, he just texts me and wants to play a little Wreckfest. So, I'm going to resume this recording later. But we're going to turn our attention to Wreckfest for the moment. Okay, we are back. I had a really good time playing some Wreckfest, a game I've never played before with Brother Doug. So if you guys are into cars, even just a little bit, even if you're not into cars, maybe go check that one out. We had a lot of fun. It's the first time I've been able to play games with Doug in months. So it was, uh, it was a good time. But as you guys can see here, we opened up the dome. So now that our animals can get in there, I think the next thing that we should probably do is honestly just finish this exhibit because it's it's a little bare. <laughs> I'm sure I haven't looked at the comments yet for uh, for the previous video, but I'm sure somebody said you need plants in there. Elephants need plants, this, that, the other, yada, yada, yada. So I figure now is probably a good time to add in said plants in things. We're going to go into nature 
and then we're gonna sort this by the continent. Look at him, look at Brutus just throwing that gyro thing around, dude. Impressive work, Brutus. My man's is very muscular. All right, so having just changed that to Africa, you can see we have a ton of fantastic options here for plants and things. So I'm just gonna go around and sort of place things down randomly. I, I don't necessarily wanna have any rhyme or reason to this stuff. We'll do another palm tree over there. Then we have the third variant of that same palm. I'm gonna do that just over here on the other side. Place that down right there. All right, see already, it's looking better. Already. And then we have these nice little aloe strips. So just to sort of prevent people from, from stacking over here maybe, I'm gonna try to put down a couple of aloe strips in here. There we go, we'll just do two like that, maybe a third. Do one more right there, I think that looks okay. And then, what else do we have? We have some African daisies, that's not a bad option. We do have a lot of bird's nest ferns. Let's just add in whatever sort of decoration that we can to try to church this space up a little bit. We have some poplar trees. That That is Africa, but I don't know if I like the look of the poplar tree for the elephants, so let's disregard that one. We have some banana palms here. That'd be a good fit. We'll put a, a banana palm over here on the end. And then what else do we have in here? Some blue lotus, yes. We need some more, some more like water plants, some more water decoration type things. Oh, we gotta turn off position snap for this one. Now that it's flat, we just have to bring it up a little bit. I'm gonna put one of those over in this corner and then let's do a slightly smaller one, maybe a little bit further back in there. The guests aren't gonna see this, of course, from the observation deck, but uh, we'll, we'll know it's there. We'll know it's there. Let's do one more of those, maybe just over here. Kind of in the shallows right there looks good to me. Moving right along here, we have some century plants. I always like doing these. I feel like that's a good fit. Oh, the reeds, dude, or like elephant grass. Duh, it's it's in the name. Why didn't I think of that? We'll do a little bit of elephant grass right there. Then we'll get the smaller strip too. Try to put that at a slightly different height so it doesn't look so repetitive. There we go. Sort of give them a, a little bit of cover over there in the corner if they need it. And then some coastal mangroves or mangroves. We'll do that one there, and then let's do the smaller version of it right next to it, a little bit further in the water, maybe. There we go. See, it doesn't take much, but as soon as you start adding things, you're like, okay, maybe this would look good over there, or do a small little reed in the center of them. Don't we have like a large group of reeds? Yeah, here we go. Let's do that right there. All right, I'm digging it, I'm digging it. Where are our elephants even at? Are they both in here? They're both taking a heckin' snoozle! Look at that, actually using the area we made for their house. Oh, African penguin's about to die of old age. How? <laughs> How? I swear we just got these things. Well, let's call the vet in on, uh, boy to Melly. Jesus, where did all these penguins come from? We haven't been doing very much, like, zoo management type things. So it's not really a big surprise that we have just a ton of penguins now, but uh, that's, that's definitely not what I was expecting to see over here. Dude, look at how many bebe we have. That is just nuts. Okay, but we got a vet coming out. Should, uh, should be okay. Water treatment requires repair. My God, okay, the zoo's starting to get away from us. The zoo is starting to get away from us just a little bit. We may need to hire another mechanic just for the time being, a sort of wandering mechanic. So we're gonna go into staff here, grab ourselves another mechanic, and we'll just place them down randomly. No big deal. All right, that's three mechanics. Another penguin bit the dust. Or I guess that's our first penguin that bit the dust, dude. Big RIP to the homie. Big RIP to the homie right there. Dang, and then we got more penguins about to mature. This is pretty crazy. But it looks like since the elephants are uh, taking a heckin' snoozle, this one's actually up, Nima. Up and walking around. Seems like we have quite a few guests in the uh, in the dome, which is lovely to see. So again, I'm not gonna do anything like uh, donation bins or habitat education boards, habitat education speakers in here because I don't want guests to stop like they are doing on this tiny little path. What I want them to do is to come out here when the elephants aren't in the dome and uh, you know learn about the animal out here. 
just because this path is a lot larger. So, I guess now that we have a little bit more decoration in their habitat, we should probably move on to some education type things. We're gonna go to facilities under media devices and education, and we're gonna grab the habitat education board set. This is the one I always use. It hasn't failed us yet, so I'm gonna keep using it. We'll do one right here, and then let's move all the way down to the other end. And we'll do another one right here. There we go. Now all those things need are an educational speaker under each one. We'll do one right there. Come back over to the other side, do another one right here. And then actually, I don't think it's a terrible idea to have another education board maybe over here on the corner. Like something like right here maybe. So we'll grab another one, rotate it around real quick and place it down right there. Perfect. All right. Then another education speaker. Now we just have to go through and get these all set up on the African elephant and the speakers as well. I always forget to do the speakers, but not this time. And I think that's Nima making her way out to the water. Okay, last board. Just gotta get this one changed around to the elephant. Perfect, dude. All right, so now we have three habitat education boards and three habitat education speakers. What else would we need? Oh, duh, donation pins. <laughs> Yeah, that's a bit obvious, huh? So let's go to guest facilities under, is it information? Finance, finance, donation bins. Grab one of those, we'll put that one right there. We'll put another one over here to the right of that sign and to the left, just in case. And then we gotta do something clear on the opposite end as well. We'll do one right there. All right. Cool, so we got our donation bins. Let's add a, another one there. And then we'll do one right here, one right here, and one right here. Try to space them out as equally as possible without getting too OCD about it. Look at that, the guests have a amazing view now of the elephants once they're out of the dome, of course. Let's go over here, see if we have any guests inside. Nope, now that the elephants have moved out of the dome and into the rest of the habitat, no guests are walking through here. A couple, maybe, just to just to get through quickly. We need some more decor, though, now that we've got all the education stuff out of the way. So let's see what else we could add in here. A candelabra tree? I don't even know what that is. There's really small ones. And yeah, we could do one of those, I guess. Let's put one of those next to that fountain. And then we'll do the smaller one on the opposite side, just over here. Looking good, dude, looking good. Also, we got some date palms. Put a date palm back here. Got another palm tree. Ooh, I like that one. Heckin' right, bud. We're gonna put the triple over there. We got a double here. Let's put that one over next to the date palm. And then the single. This is pretty small, so I actually might add that. Just right there, maybe. No! Why have you done this? Why are you charging the fence? Why? Uh, edit barrier. No. Mechanic, please, hurry. We're about to have an escapee, oh yeah. Wait, no, he's turning around? Wait, is that Nima? No, that's Brutus. Brutus, what are you doing, my guy? Why are you just going around smashing fences? Yep, all right, he's escaped. Let's do, uh, let's do the vet out here. Okay, the fence has been replaced. <laughs> Our elephant is now just on the outskirts of his habitat. And uh, I don't know how quickly we can actually get a vet out here. Hang on, hang on, hang on. No big deal. Where's the vet? Where's the vet? The vet is there. Okay, where are you going, vet? How are you planning on actually retrieving that animal? Because I don't know if you have any any way to get out there. Yeah, you don't. Okay, you don't know where you're going. In that case, we're just going to grab you here. We're going to pick you up, and we'll move you out here. No, we can't do that. Seriously, we can't do that? Okay. <laughs> hey, it's not a big deal. Not a huge deal at all. I know what I need to do. We have to remove the fence. We're gonna get rid of the railing there. And now we're gonna hit play. Come on, come on. No, 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 turn around. Oh, you are big dumb. You are big, big dumb, dumb. Big dumb, come back this way. Come back this way, there you go. Now run out to the elephant, trank him, and then bring him back, please. Look at him, he's just like, <laughs> are you skipping out there? What are you doing, dog? Come on. Okay, get your blow dart gun out. Important alert requires attention. Okay, here's the blow dart gun. Got him, nice. Okay, there he goes. 
There he goes. That's the most humane way we can go about doing things, so... We'll just have to live with it. And of course now the important alert requires attention is going to be up there for the remainder of this recording. So I'm going to save and exit so we can get rid of that thing. But I don't know why they're taking out the glass. That's like the second or third time now that I've seen them just straight up maul the glass and, and destroy it. And it is the proper grade fence for them. So I'm not really sure what's going on there. It's also the proper height. But, uh, what do I know? You know? Let's see. Come on, Brutus. Don't be smashing these barriers, okay? I, I don't have the time to be able to, uh, to spend on repairing all these barriers all the freaking time. So if you could just do me a solid and just chill, that would be great. God, what a good feeling, though. Just having the animals be able to actually use the dome now is such a huge weight off my shoulders, dude. I thought we were gonna have to scrap that entire design and come up with something new. Ooh! No, no, no. No inbreeding. No, we don't do that here. Definitely don't do that here. Is this Bebe? It is Bebe. All right, we're gonna go release animal to the wild. 205 cc's. I'm down with that. Okay, yeah, she was about to inbreed with her dad. Disgusting. Uh, gross. Why would you? Why would you do that? It doesn't make any sense. And then this one, unfortunately, appears to be fairly old. Can we do anything with that? We might just have to send her off to the trade center, unfortunately. Let's head over there, see if we can do anything with her in the trade center. Okay, we do have another African buffalo in here. I think we're just gonna go ahead and release him to the wild. And then this one, I can't do anything with, so we just have to quick trade, unfortunately. She's getting a little bit too old, but we couldn't rehome it. And we're looking good again. Are these two about to breed it up? They sure are. <laughs> All right, and then what about this one? That's another male. Oh, that is a bebe as well. So that one's gonna get released. There we go. How many other bebes we got? That's an adult. Let's go ahead and rehome that one. Sucks to see, but sometimes you just gotta do it. Oh God, they're all getting old, dude. The zoo has not been open for that long. Well, year 21. I guess it's been a while since we checked up on all the animals too. Okay, rehome you. Wow, is that all of them gone? No, we have two more in here. Please be a good age. 14 and five, all right. Are they both females though? They're both females. Do we have a single male left? Probably not. Yeah. Wait, 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 there's one more. No, that is a female as well. Okay, so we have three female African buffalo. We need to at least get one more male so they can keep breeding. We got a young buck right here, a young male. Silver medal on this one, 1500 appeal. We're gonna adopt him for 66 cc's and send him on in. There, now please, aminals, just relax for me, would you? Just just chill. There's no reason to be stressed out or, or dying or anything like that, okay? Everything's good, life is good. Things are good at the zoo. Oh, we just, how did I miss this? How did I miss this birth? We have Bayo, Bayo, not sure how to pronounce that, but a female African elephant now from Brutus and Nima. Gotta love that dude, okay. And it looks like Nima is actually hungry. I don't believe they can access this feeder in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and move that to a different location. Let's put that just right here, sort of in the center of the area. That way the guests can still see it. The whole point of putting that in there was so the guests could walk by and uh, and watch them eat food. Just because they do keep sort of destroying this fence, I'm gonna leave this front stretch up here as a good viewing area, but then all of this other barrier section out here, I'm gonna try to change this to like concrete or something else because they're just gonna keep smashing holes in it and uh, we're gonna have to keep repairing it, which is not ideal. So let's bring this all the way up to probably right about there would be a good spot. And we're gonna change this to, let's see. Yeah, that's resistance grade four. Let's do the Gabion, I believe is how you pronounce that. I like the look of that one. There we go. Okay, Brutus was thinking about smashing that fence too and we, we caught him just in time. All right, back into the decor. We need, uh, we need something else. We, we just need something to make this area look a little bit more lived in, like the elephants are, are actually enjoying themselves out here. Oh, we got a fig tree? That's kind of cool. 
put that in the back corner just for for something else maybe a couple of ferns at the base of this palm or something i don't even know dude i i really don't even know oh this is kind of a cool tree too i like the flowers on it let's put that over here next to these reeds there we go something like that oh yeah dude all right i'm digging this but it's still just missing something i don't know what like do we need some sort of rock structure maybe what is this underwater plants oh that's kind of cool all right and then the last thing here i think i want to add is another weeping willow we have one up at the front here but i want one inside their exhibit i just really like the look of a weeping willow so i'm gonna put this in this corner back here i'd say that's probably enough decoration let's check in with the elephants see what they think about all that stuff so we're gonna go to terrain i believe it is no 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 no, no. environment okay so coverage 11 percent that's better than they had and then 98 percent on the plants so pretty good oh look at him look at him spinning the the rotating feeder that's pretty rad. Oh, dude, look at the baby. Look at the baby. Apollo, let's go. Talk about adorable. Wait, the baby can't reach that feeder. What are you doing out here, dog? All right, let's actually move to our penguins again because we got a lot of penguins. We have a lot of penguins. Let's quickly go through our animals and we'll just kind of see what we're working with. So we've already sort of touched base with the uh, the African buffalo. The African elephant should be good to go as well. I'm going to put little Bayo, Bayo, on contraceptives because we do not want her breeding with Brutus. That would be really gross. Wow. Okay, so anything like 14 or 15 years old, I think we're going to leave. Those are probably some of the originals. But everything else is is a bebe that's just grown up now. So we gotta make sure that we uh, we clean house a little bit. We're gonna release all them to the wild for 770 cc's. Wow, dude. Okay, one of them can't be released. Oh, are they pregnant? Yeah, they're pregnant. Okay, that's that's fine. That's fine. All but one. Yeah, we need to pay better attention to our animals. I'm always just I'm real quick to just move on to the next thing and uh, and get the next habitat rolling. But as you can tell. That strategy doesn't exactly work all the time. So we have two females right now. Let's go back into animal trading. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves another female. Risa right here looks pretty good, or Risa. We're gonna send her to the Fennec Fox exhibit. And then we need one male. We have the youngest male here. Not the best stats in the world, but we will take it. And he's gonna go in there, start producing bebe. And then again, dude, we have so many land snails. We have too many. We're gonna go through and uh, just release all of these to the wild. Instead, we're gonna hop into exhibit trading this time and we're gonna grab some Moa Dam. And these are all captive births again, so we're actually just gonna have to release all of them as well and get two new puff adders from exhibit trading. I swear, dude, I swear, it was like two or three episodes ago, we did a, a whole episode just dedicated to zoo management and uh, already it's gotten away from us again. So here we go, two and a half year old, female and then we'll get the three-year-old male okie dokie are we about done then i feel like that's that's got to be all the animals yes and then we have the two rhinos left over perfect all right god i feel like each episode dude we haven't been able to accomplish near as much as we used to and that is really really frustrating for me but it's okay Hopefully the next one we can uh, we can actually knock out maybe a whole exhibit. All right, and I think that's actually where we're gonna wind things down at for today. Like I mentioned, Doug wanted to play some Wreckfest with me like mid recording. I was like 10 minutes in and he texted me and wanted to play. So that did take up a bunch of my recording time for the day. Hopefully you guys understand. And nonetheless, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like. Leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.